So today we're going to start the machine called lame over here, which is an IP address 10, 10, 10, 3. This is an IP address. So let's do a simple ping command to check the whether the host is live or not. Over here, we can see that the, the server is responding with the TTL value 63. It means that the server is live over there. But the server active and open. Let's try a simple nmap scan. So I'm going to use nmap, but if I'm trying nmap, what are the things I need to look? The very first thing, the service plus their version, which might be an application running in the back end. The open ports also regarding that service, plus the OS type. Hmm. These are the important things we need when we are scanning a server. So, serviceless version in MMAP, we will use small s capital B. For open ports, we can use iPhone P. And we can specify the port numbers with the 65535. Six, and we can use capital O for the OS detection. But what about the time and performance? It means threads. I'm talking about the threads. If you remember in your uh, CH batch, there is a time and technique stats for T0 to T5, which, we, which can you see on your nmap hyphen hyphen help command. <laughs> So over here, the time and performance, which is time setting templates, T0 to T5. Higher is faster. So we can use T0 to T4, uh, T5, but over here, we're going to use the T5, uh, T4, which is your aggressive scan. And if you want to save the output, Save the output, we can use small n capital M. See over here. For output to save, we can use a small o capital N. So let's try and map. SV capital O hyphen P hyphen scan the entire port number which is from 65,535 ports hyphen T4 hyphen ON and name this one name hmm? and the IP address. Let's see. The interface if, if, if the machine has an interface of that. So I guess there is no interface of this machine. Okay, so it will it will take some time over here. <laughs> Why? Because I simply put iPhone P iPhone, which will take a lot of time to scan the entire number of device. And as I can see, there is no interface. If you do again a simple ping command, the machine is still active, but there is no interface on the back end. And the time will be decreased time to time. Otherwise, I can use nmap iPhone A, iPhone T4 and the IP address. The iPhone A is basically your aggressive scan. So we have one minute over here. 
but in the real life scenario in the real life environment we don't use iphone a or iphone t4 because it will create a lot of packets in the back end so the network can be disturbed so in the real life scenario we don't use iphone a and iphone t4 28 seconds left but the major the major agenda is when you are simply scanning a server or penetration testing any of the website or an application all you need to know is you have to make a simply a report on that you have to go step by steps all the functions one thing you have to remember that poc is the important part that you have to prove uh, proof of concept to the client side that what they need to change in their further scanning phase for example all you need is simply whatever the scan has been done you have to make a screenshot just like this one over in your keyboard there is a button called print screen if you print, if you click on that it will save the output just like this one let's try let's remove this one iphone iphone max read tries is equal to 0 let's try this one 11 seconds over here you have mentioned the identify the open port services plus version in the specific server but iphone iphone max retry is basically used for scan your boost of your scanning technique i put zero over here because i just want to scan that port only once not the twice to identify the port is open or not and if you go over here in your home directory you can see the name the text file that we have scanned and you can see the port numbers are there as per a security analyst i can see the port number 21 <coughs> is open over there port 22 is open there open ssh 4.7. 139445 which is your samba system and they are still open and there is a port number 3632/tcp is also over there open to server so the our major agenda is to enumerate each and everything which we can find over here that's why i'm going to do the advanced scan and you can see over here you can cl clarify the simple scan see over here and see this one the port 22 is open over there but the port 22 is open over there which is an anonymous ftp login is allowed and why is this open because they didn't change their credentials their username and password of their ftp server the port 22 is open there but i can see the algorithm they they have used The one three nine port number Samba four four five port number Samba, and you can see the trace back the TTL values over there. So the port twenty one anonymous FTP is unavailable. So we can simply connect this one. We can try the FTP utility to connect with that server. So I'm going to use FTP. and the uh, ip address and he's asking me the password so i simply know anonymous and anonymous and i can see login successful so let's do question mark ls where i am through 
question mark we can see which are the allow commands over here and when i put question uh, when i put ls i want to see the list directories let's try dir you know ls if and all we can see that we are on the directory which is empty over there there is no file no such file over there pwd present working directory and we can see that we are in the root so let's try directory traversal if you can find something relevant data let's try the home directory to access fail we don't have the permission to write over here we have only the permission to access only that specific folder which is provided by us so we can see the port number 22 is open there but we don't have the username and password the connection control is plain text you can see over here there is no such file over here and ftp is basically used to share the files on your wan network or a lan network but over here as i can see that port number 139 and 445 is open there can we enumerate the versions over here let's try to enumerate the version of 139 and 445 with the help of our metasploit we need to enumerate the versions which version they are using because the port number 139 and 445 still open there Let's try Metasploit. Enumeration is the key of success, which I told you a very long ago. You have to extract all the things one by one. So in the Metasploit, I'm going to use the type auxiliary over here. So I'm going to use the search string. I'm going to type, put the auxiliary. and the name and the name will be your sb and you can see 35 modules which are all sb servers with a simple string just you know the type and the name For example, they are all of they are all auxiliaries. See, but you have to use the relevant one. For example, you have to check the SMB version detection. SMB version detection. There could be SMB version one, SMB version two. You can see. If it doesn't know which SMB version they are using, one or two or three, you can simply use the SMB version over here. So. use auxiliary show options set our host and the ip address you have to pull the ip address over here then cross check show options you can see that the target has been set over there threads 1 the boost is getting passed you have to fill the yes compound over there the last thing we can do is run and we can see the smb version is 3.20 debian see this one 139 it, it didn't mention which kind of which version they are using all we have to do is to enumerate the services so this is a samba version we can simply search for the exploit so over here i'm going to use a local database server which is my search exploit vulnerability samba version and over here i can see two other scripts one is your username map script and one is your remote heap overflow Let's try Metasploit first. Command execution. We can see the command execution over here. Hmm? 
and this is an RB file, which is your Metasploit file. So I'm going to search over here, search. And, but there is a lot of vulnerabilities over here. How I'm going to look this one. As you can see, the that was username map script. So over here, we need to find the user map. The user map script, okay. So user map script is over here. Command execution. So we can use command execution over here. Let's try to use this one. So I'm going to use over here. This is an exploit. Let's try to exploit this one. So use exploit show options. The simple way, if you doesn't know which, which kind of which one do you look over here, simply Google it. Devin exploit. Yes. You can see the command execution in the very top. You can see other difference also. There's an exploit also in GitHub. This module exploit is a command execution in Samba version 3.23 when the non default user map script configuration option by specifying a username containing a shell meta character can execute arbitrary commands. Arbitrary command means your code from your malicious software. No authentication needed to exploit this vulnerability since the option is used to map username, uh, username spire. And you can see over here. There are lots of vulnerabilities, and you can see there is a script also, which is a buffer overflow type. Let's try it, this one. Set our host one ten 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 three, and the port number they are gonna attack on one three nine. But over here we need a reverse shell. Reverse connection also. Okay, let's try without reverse shell. Let's try exploit. And we can see that we have a command shell open on the target machine. And if you look over here, they have connected a client with a socket A, socket B, and matching with a socket A input. And we can see that the command shell has been open over there. So if I type who am I, I can see there is a root server over there. PWD, I'm on the root directory. Simple check. So I'm the root. So I basically run to the root directory, ls and all, and I can see read the root.txt file. So the main objective of these machines are you have to enumerate each and every version and check how an attacker simply gain unauthorized access to the server when an uh, when a server is running unauthorized applications. The major agenda of this machine is you need to figure out all the services plus their versions in the backend concept. If you see over here, bin bash hyphen i to get a TTY over there. So the main objective of this machine is to get a root shell. 